Okay, we're back. Coffee has been procured. So let's talk about the NR frames and the PR frame. So the NR, if you're not familiar, is the natural rockered frame sold in uh, NR90, 100, and 110. And that's the four-wheeled frame, such as the one here. And right now we have available for pre-order a PR80 frame, which is an 80 millimeter wheel, but five wheels. So the geometry is such that they both have a slight tilt forward, kind of about a one centimeter tilt forward. There's a one millimeter rocker between all of the wheels. So, you know, you can imagine on the PR frame, the middle wheel being kind of at the lowest point and then each wheel being one millimeter up from the next. And then the NR frame, um, you can kind of imagine the middle two wheels kind of being at the zero point and then the front and back wheel being one millimeter up. And then because of the slight forward tilt, there becomes kind of a pivot point um, around the third wheel or kind of in the center and slightly back on the PR frame. So that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on there. Now, realistically, what are the differences? So what's gonna change the experience for you when you're out skating? What frame might be more suitable for you compared to the other one? So going back and forth now, skated the PR84 for a long time and really, really enjoyed it. Um, the things that I love about the frame are riding ramps. They're absolutely fantastic on ramps. The 84 millimeter wheel, or you know, if you're buying the, the one that's on pre-sale, the 80 millimeter wheel would even be lower to the ground. But the point I'm trying to make is that you feel quite low to the ground and the frame is quite long. So the stability is just absolutely amazing. So you feel locked in, you got tons of speed, especially when you're riding ramps and having that extra long frame, especially the extra distance behind your foot really is a benefit for when you're pumping through transition. So when you're transitioning from the down to the flat slope through a ramp, you can really use that extra length. And when you're learning, you have that extra length. So when you slip back, your wheels aren't just gone. You got something there to catch you. So there's lots of benefits there. Um, and so riding ramps, that's one of the main benefits. Uh, the wizard tricks. So being able to maneuver and do all of the three turns. So the gazelles and the lions um, and the S. So all of these wizardy tricks are much, much easier on the PR frames. And that's because although the distance between the wheels, as far as the rocker is concerned, the difference is just one millimeter, but the space between the wheels is much smaller. So when you have, for example, the NR100 frame, you know, the distance between the wheels is 101 millimeters. On the PR frame, the PR80, it's 81 millimeters. So the distribution of the rocker is a lot bigger uh, on that PR frame, which results in a lot more maneuverability. So that PR frame is quite interesting in that you've got tons of stability and you have tons of maneuverability. There's nothing really ever like it that I could compare it to. It's truly unique in its own way. Um, so the point being, if you're into doing tricks, that PR frame is gonna be amazing for you. Um, you know, imagine you have kind of a smaller world to skate in. You don't have a big, huge city that you can bomb the whole thing, right? You're in a smaller zone. So you have to kind of up the novelty factor by doing tricks to make the skating more fun and get into the flow. Uh, and that PR frame will do that for you. It's really cool. Um, the NR frame with the bigger wheels, the 90s, the 100s, or the 110s, in my mind is a better uh, commuting frame, you could say, going A to B with efficiency and speed. You still have the ability to do all those wizarding tricks, right? All those tricks were invented on <laughs> these natural rocker frames with the four wheels. Um, but just as far as the speed, um, you know, nothing compares. You know, 100 millimeter wheels to 80 millimeter wheels, there's a huge difference. So now having gone back to the 100s, not by choice, but by necessity, I'm actually really enjoying it. This, I kind of, I don't know, I was loving the 84 so much, I didn't know in my mind what it would be like going back to the 100s. 
Previous, the 100s had always, always, always been my favorite wheel size. I just think it's a great all-round wheel size for my style of skating. And going back to the 100s, I'm truly um, enjoying it, having actually more fun than I was on the PR84s. And the more fun is simply coming from uh, that more effortless speed, kind of the frames themselves uh, hold more energy, you could imagine. You know, once you get up to speed, they carry the speed further, um, and that's a really nice feeling. And, uh, and then, as such, my skating world gets bigger. So, maybe not as much fun in a smaller area at the skate park or in a parking lot, you know, there's still gonna be tons of fun, but the point being you could do more with that PR frame in that smaller space than you could with the NR frame. But if you have a bigger space and your style of skating is getting around the city in a bigger way, then nothing compares to having that bigger wheel. Um, and then having, you know, the geometry of the rockered frame, having something that's maneuverable and stable at the same time. Actually, one interesting thing about the stability I should mention is that the, although the PR frame feels more stable in many instances, certainly jumping or riding ramps, having that extra length uh, and the lower wheel height makes it feel very stable. Um, but at higher speeds, there's a greater tendency to have uh, speed wobbles because of that shorter distance between the wheels. Like the base of contact being only 81 millimeters or the 85 millimeters, which is the frame that I was using, that shorter distance compared to the 101 millimeters makes for um, much less stable ride at higher speeds. You're gonna get more, the frame wants to move more. Whereas I feel really locked in, you know, especially having just come back to these ones, I feel really locked in with these 100s, like boom, at the higher speeds I can hold uh, my position really well and feel quite stable in those positions. So there's a lot going on there. <laughs> but I think I got everything out that I wanted to say. Please ask questions uh, in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you and answer those things for you. Thanks again for watching. Namaste. Um, cream and sugar in my coffee. <laughs> you can turn the camera off. <laughs> well Peace. <done>. Cheers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.